Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will discuss about different variants of ESP32 as well as I will explain features of ESP32 Groom module. In this video lecture series, I will develop some interesting projects using ESP32 Groom module. That's why I will also discuss about features of ESP32 Groom module. But first of all, I will discuss about different variants of ESP32. First of all, I'll discuss about core variants of ESP32, which we widely used it for general purpose. See, first core variant is ESP32 Groom module. It is a standard version of ESP32 and it is widely used with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. In this video lecture series, I'll be using ESP32 Groom module by which I will develop some interesting projects. See, second core variant is ESP32 Grower. It is similar to ESP32 Groom, but it is having extra PSRAM. That's why it is more suitable for memory intensive task. So if you have memory intensive task, then one can prefer ESP32 Grower. And third core variant is ESP32 Pico D4. It is a compact version of ESP32. It has system in package design. It is having SIP design means system in packet design with built in components. So if you have constraint based on size, then one can prefer ESP32 Pico D4. If you want memory intensive task, then one can go for ESP32 Grower. And for standard task, one can prefer ESP32 Groom module. In this video lecture series, I'll be using ESP32 Groom module for project development. Now, I'll discuss about ESP32 variants with respect to specialized connectivity. So, first variant is ESP32 C3. It is having RISC Pi core processor. It is having Wi-Fi at 2.4 GHz and it supports Bluetooth 5.0. It is a low cost alternative to ESP8266. See, with earlier IoT applications, many people were using ESP8266. And with ESP32C3, we have low cost alternative to this, right? So many people were using this instead of this after having ESP32C3. See, next variant is ESP32S3. It is having enhanced AI capabilities along with USB OTG support. One should know, see with USB OTG support, device can function as USB host or device, which will enable direct communication with peripherals such as keyboard, mice or flash drive. It is also suitable for computer vision and machine learning. So if you want features based on AI and machine learning, then one can prefer ESP32 S3 as well as it is having USB OTG support, right? See, next variant is ESP32 C6. It supports Wi-Fi 6. One should know with Wi-Fi 6, we have dual band connectivity. We have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz of band with Wi-Fi 6. It also supports thread and Zigbee for next generation IoT applications. One should know there are many applications which is based on Zigbee protocol. So ESP32 C6 supports Zigbee, it supports Thread, it also supports Wi-Fi 6. See next variant is ESP32 H2. It supports Bluetooth 5.2. See this Bluetooth 5.2 is advanced Bluetooth that is consuming low energy. It is having high speed up to 2 Mbps. It is having extended range up to 240 meter. And it is having lower latency, which makes it suitable for real time applications. It also supports thread for low power mesh network. So based on different categories of connectivity, one can prefer any variant of this ESP32, right? So before you deploy any application, you should observe the features of available variants of 
ESP32, right? Now I'll discuss about ESP32 variants with respect to low power or niche applications. See, first one is ESP32 S2. It is having a single core 32 bit processor of Extensa LX6. See, with ESP32, we have two categories of processors. One is Extensa LX6 and second is Extensa LX7. If you compare single core of LX6 and LX7, then LX7 is having higher computational capabilities. But with this variant, we have single core of 32 bit processor of Extensa LX7. It has Wi Fi at 2.4 gigahertz and it also supports USB OTG. One should know if you have USB OTG support, then device can act as a USB host or device which will enable direct communication with peripherals such as keyboard, mice, or flash drive. See, second low power module is ESP32 Mini 1. From name itself, you can understand this. It is ultra compact version of ESP32. Mini means it is ultra compact version, right? It is used in space constrained device such as wearables. If you talk about wearables, right? Then in wearables, we have space constraint in which we need compact microcontrollers, right? So in that situation, one can go for ESP32 Mini 1. Now, let me discuss about third low power variant that is ESP32 Pico V3. It is optimized for low power consumption. It has integrated components with ESP32. So these are the different variants which we use it for low power applications. In this video lecture series, I will be using ESP32 Groom module that is standard version of ESP32, right? Now, let me discuss about features of ESP32 Groom module. Here you can observe the image of ESP32 Groom module where, see here inside this case, we have microcontroller and this microcontroller is connected with different IO pins. Here in total, 36 pins are there, right? And here we have antenna. It is not visible over here, but here we have antenna. And inside this case, we have microcontroller. Here we have USB port connection that one can use it for programming of this ESP32 module. Now I'll discuss about first feature with respect to processor and available memory. See with ESP32 room module, we have dual core 10 silica LX6 CPU that can run independently. Here we have a clock speed up to 240 megahertz. Here we have 520 KB of SRAM and 448 KB of ROM. Here one can have 4 MB of flash memory and it can be expandable depending on the variant. And this memory, 4 MB flash memory that one can use it for programming purpose, right? Next feature is based on wireless connectivity. Here we have Wi-Fi support at 2.4 gigahertz of frequency. Here we have Bluetooth with version of 4.2 where we have classic and low power Bluetooth, but it is version 4.2. It also supports ESP now protocol, which usually we use it for low power and peer to peer communication. So that is how wireless connectivity is there. One can say here we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity that usually we use it for different applications. Now let me discuss about networking features. See here we are connecting this ESP32 with internet where it is having a support of IPv4 and IPv6 with TCP IP protocol. It also supports access point and station mode as well as combination of both is provided. So there are multiple modes available, access point station and access point plus station mode. It is also having secure Wi-Fi connection with WPA, WPA2, WPA3 encryption. Now I'll discuss about next feature that is based on general purpose IO and peripherals. 
See here we have in total 36 GPIO pins. You can observe here we have 36 GPIO pins and these IO pins are having multiplexed functions. Multiplexed means single pin can have multiple functions like one pin can have analog function as well as it can be used as PWM as well as it can have digital functions as well, right? So pins are multiplexed pin. Here we have 18 ADC channels with 12 bits, but all the channels are not available as if we have Wi-Fi connectivity. If you have Wi-Fi connectivity enabled right now, in that case, one can use around 8 ADC channels at the time, right? Here we have two DAC channel of 8 bits. It also supports many wireless protocols like SPI, I2C, I2S, UART, PWM, RMT. It is also having capacitive touch sensors with 10 channels, right? Now let me discuss about next feature that is based on power management. See here we have ultra low power coprocessor for efficient deep sleep mode. One should know with deep sleep mode here it is functioning at 10 micro ampere of current only. So here if you have such applications in which you need low power consumption at the time deep sleep mode is identical. The reason is if you have application over here which is based on battery driven application. So in that case this deep sleep mode that is very efficient. See here we have different sleep modes available like light sleep, deep sleep and modem sleep. With deep sleep we have minimum power consumption around 10 micro ampere of current that is what consumed by this ESP32 room module right. Now I'll discuss about security features. See here we have a secure boot and flash encryption. In secure boot here we have digital signature and based on digital signature booting of this ESP32 room module is been done as well as here we have flash encryption. It also supports AES-128 and AES-256 encryption protocol for secure communication. Now let me discuss about built-in sensors. See it is having Hall effect sensor. This Hall effect sensor that can sense electromagnetic field by which one can sense proximity. See based on EM field sensing one can sense proximity. One can also sense rotation and position as well as one can sense temper. Like for example, if somebody is having electric meter, right? And if somebody is tempering this, then with the use of Hall effect sensor, that tempering can be detected. It is also having internal temperature sensor. Now let me discuss about next feature that is based on electrical specification. See here we have operating voltage of 3.3 volt. Here we have operating current of 160 milliampere in case of Wi-Fi over here is active. See this antenna that is useful in case of Wi-Fi connection and in case of deep sleep mode current is around 10 micro ampere, right? Now let me discuss about physical specifications. See here dimensions are 18 mm that is this dimension 18 mm cross 25.5 mm that is this dimension cross 3.1 mm that is this dimension right it is having integrated pcb antenna that integrated pcb antenna that is available over here and one can interface external antenna with esp32 room 32u see if you want to interface external antenna then you can prefer esp32 room 32u right with basics ESP32 room, we don't have external antenna option, but to have interfacing of external antenna, one can prefer this ESP32 room 32U, right? So that is how different features are there with ESP32 room module. 
this module that we'll be using it in future coming videos for project development. Stay tuned with us. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.